Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see alert suppression in Defender for Cloud. So when a single alert is not interesting or relevant, you can manually dismiss it. So in the previous video we used the, you can use the uh, dismiss option. We created a sample alert and uh, then in this video we'll see how we can dismiss it manually by dismissing a single alert. However, we can use the separation rules feature to automatically dismiss similar alerts in the future. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, now when you are into the Defender for Cloud, you go to Workload Protection or you can click on Security Alerts here. These are the, this is a sample alert, 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 you go. If you see this alert, right, click on it click on view fuel details and you get an option to take an action and if you scroll down you see suppress similar alerts right you can suppress similar alerts by creating suppression rule you click on create suppression rule alerts custom or you want to do it for alert or you want to do the do this for a specific type of alert right click on here entities you can say that uh, it's an IP address in you type in a value let's say whatever 10 dot or you can do this You look for your VNet. Let's say this is your public IP. You come here and you mention it. Right? Rule name, you can give it a Testing, state is enabled, reason, uh, you can mention other if that the reason you don't see here, okay, add your comment, uh, you can say VM okay, rule, expi uh, rule expiration whenever you want to expire that rule October, let's say here you want to simulate the rule you can simulate the rule here it's validating and when this is done you can click on apply it is applying this rule rule is successful you can change your uh, existing suppression rules or create new ones from the suppression rules option you can click on the rule you can disable the rule you can dismiss the rule right so if you go here you see if you want to directly go to the suppression rules just click on security rules click on suppression rules and you see it here you can edit it if you want to uh, delete it, you want to remove the role, you won't have the option here. Alright, so what this rule would do, if you if you see the same kind of, if it sees the same kind of uh, 
alert failed SSH brute force attacks from this IP, it will not generate a rule. It will just suppress because we have created a suppression suppression rule as an admin, right? So it will not give you a tons of alerts and would bother or you disturb your admin team who would constantly looking at the false positive alerts. All right. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day ahead.